What's up everybody? Nothing too crazy today. We're just going to be going through uh, the Modern Thinker's Creed, which is the thing I mentioned to Glass yesterday actually. Um, but first, let's give you a little bit of War of Ages going on. They're one of the best bands I know. They're pretty wonderful. I'll have to keep talking over them just a little bit to make sure the copyright doesn't uh, strike me, but they're a really good band. This is them live, obviously, but... They're awesome, man. Love you, Leroy. Love you, everybody. War of Ages, you're still awesome. One of my favorite bands, for sure. Big time. Anyway, you guys, hope you have a blessed day this morning. Hope you seek Jesus and His face when you when the Lord puts it on your heart. Good times. <laughs> and then there's a dang solo too. You gotta listen to that. Amazing. Seriously, one of my favorite bands ever. Hopefully, this is enough to take it and change it, but. It's a fair use act, I hope. I love him, man. Caleb, rest in peace. Sorry, brother. I'll see you in heaven. Let's get started, guys. I'm probably going to get struck for sure on that, but it was worth it. Probably won't be able to monetize this video. Not that any of them are monetized at the moment, anyway. But, alright, let's see here. Modern Thinker's Creed. So I'm pulling us from Reasons for Faith. For the faith. Um, and I'll go ahead and flip you around and let's read through it. This one of my favorite uh, apologists always used to quote this little quote, and I think it's pertinent today. So we believe in Marx, Freud, and Darwin. We believe everything is okay as long as you don't hurt anyone. To the best of your definition of hurt, and to the best of your and to the best of your knowledge. You believe in sex before, during, and after marriage. That's what I was met referencing yesterday. We believe in the therapy of we believe in the therapy of sin. We believe adultery is fun. We believe that sodomy is okay. We believe that taboos are taboo. We believe that everything's getting better despite evidence to the contrary. The evidence must be investigated, and you can prove anything with evidence. <laughs> We believe there's something to horoscopes and UFOs and bent spoons. Jesus was a good man just like Buddha, Muhammad, and ourselves. This is so brutal. He was a good moral teacher, although we think his morals were bad. We believe all that all religions are basically the same, and at least the ones that we read were, <laughs> or was, <laughs> the one that we read was. They all believe in love and goodness, which is not true. They all only differ on matters of creation, sin, heaven, hell, God, and salvation. We believe that after death comes the nothing, because when you ask the dead what happens, they say nothing. If death is not the end, if the dead uh, have lied, then it's compulsory heaven for everybody, excepting perhaps Hitler, Stalin, and King is gone. We believe in Masters and Johnson. What's selective is, selected is average. What average is normal. What's normal is good. We believe in the total disarmament. We believe in total disarmament. Excuse me. We believe that there are direct links between warfare and bloodshed. <laughs> Americans should beat their guns into tractors and the Russians would be sure to follow. We believe that man is essentially good. It's only his behavior that lets him down. Sorry, guys, about the glare. I should have turned, tilted you down. <laughs> this is the fault of society. Society is the fault of conditions, and conditions are the fault of society. <laughs> we believe that each man must find his truth that is right for him. Reality will adapt accordingly. The universe will readjust. History will alter. We believe that there is no absolute truth, excepting the truth that there is no absolute truth. We believe in a rejection of all of creeds. <laughs> Postscript. If chance be the father of all flesh. Listen closely, guys. 
If chance be the father of all flesh, then disaster is his rainbow in the sky. And when you hear state of emergency, sniper kills ten, troops on the rampage, youths go looting, bomb blasts school, it is but the sound of man worshipping his maker. Oof. It's powerful, guys. What do you think about that? One of my favorite apologists used to quote that a lot. And he'd take some parts out about sodomy and other things, but I'm leaving them in because it's a very pertinent thing these days. And there's it does no favor to anyone who's struggling with same-sex attraction to act like they are going to be hurt by speech. It takes a very frail and una unstable person to be hurt by speech. And I pray for them in Jesus' name. If you, that's you, it doesn't have to be that you struggle with same-sex attraction. It could be adultery. It could be um, promiscuous, promiscuity, which is another big one we don't pay attention to these days, like how we dress and who could be tempted and plenty of other things. Not saying it's a man's that's a woman's fault either that anything bad happens to her. You know what I think about rape? I think you take the rapist out. That's what I think. That's what I think. And then we'll talk, readjust, and talk about the abortion issue. But until then, um, I don't think it's a good faith argument. So, anyway, guys, that was, man, go back and read that a couple more times. Um, just blows my mind. It's so true, and there's so many circular reasonings and, and self-contradictory things in there, as well as naivete uh, that you see on the left and, and on the right, too, sometimes. Um, as far as the moral fabric of our nation, the right is, is ignorant. A lot of times they're like, ah, it can just be politics. It's like, no, you need Jesus. And the same thing on the left, you know, they think that we should go beat our guns into tractors and the Russians will be sure to follow. <laughs> like, anyway, guys, hope you have a blessed day. Peacemaker out.